Hello, my name is Slavo Petrik and in this video I will show you how to send raw CCSDS packet without ECSS PUS layer in the PUS Open framework. In this demo we will have two sites, we will have a server and we will have a client. The server will send prepared CCSDS packet with a custom payload of 4 bytes to the client and the client will receive the packet and will print out its payload. The PUS Open framework consists of five layers. So at the very bottom we have what is called a FES layer and that's our encoding layer. And that's where the byte stream is created. On top of it is layer for managing virtual channels. And this one is optional. You can turn it on and off. Above it is what we call the subnetwork. Subnetwork layer. And the source code for the subnetwork layer you can actually see with each example. So that's the place where you can connect your code to the data bus. So if you receive from the radio, radio, you will receive a byte stream, you will decode a byte stream and then feed it into subnetwork layer. Then in the subnetwork layer, because you know that it is for other APID than what is the APID of the current system, you can reroute the packet and you can send it to another subsystem. through the data bus, let's say. Okay, and here we go to the important part. Just above it is what is called the PS layer, and that's the layer where the CCSDS space packets are created. So this is what we, what we will use in this demo. And on top we have ECSS PUS layer. But in this demo, we will not use this layer, but our application will instead call directly the PS layer, to send the CCSDS packets, and then to receive the CCSDS packet. So I hope that simple sketch will help you to understand what we are doing in this demo. So all of the functions of the lib PS or the CCSDS space packet layer in PUS Open Framework are in the header file libps.h that you can find under the H folder of the installation. So we go in the complete installation, we go into the H folder and you will find the libps.h. Have a look inside, there are all of the functions, all of the structures, it will give you a good insight on how to call the PS layer. So just for the purpose of this demo, the client and the server are communicating through the TCP sockets, but in your application, that will be probably a data bus or the radio between the satellite and the ground station. We'll start with the server side, the sending side. We'll include the header file. The only header file that you need to include is pusopen.h. It internally includes all of the other necessary uh, header files of the pusopen framework. We'll open the main function. Then we will define the payload of our CCSDS packet will define what is called a packet request and we will see in a second what that is. Then our transmission buffer. That's the buffer where we will create a byte stream out of the CCSDS packet which we will create. And we will, as I said, for the purpose of the demo, we will initialize the socket. Now comes the important parts. We will initialize the stack and in this Who's open stack and in this demo we only need to initialize two layers and this is the PS layer so the, the packet layer which is creating the CCSDS space packets and the layer below which is FES which is encoding the packets into the byte stream so the, it's the limiting packets in the byte stream. Now we will specify the CCSDS packet request so we'll say that the packet is a telemetry, its destination APID is 3, we'll have no secondary header, our data that we will send as a payload, they are 4 bytes long and as I said no secondary header flag. We will ask the PUS Open framework to send the CCSDS packet and then we create a byte stream and we send it over to the client. And that's all what is needed to send a CCSDS packet. Let me just finish the main function. Yeah, so we'll 
close the server and then we return zero. So let's recap the server side. We have the initialization of the PS and the FES layer. We are creating the packet request and we are telling to the push open stack, please send the CCSDs packet. And then we are creating the byte stream and sending it over to the client. Now let's do the client side. So again, we will start with including the header files. And again, the only one that you need to include is the push open the page. We will open the main function. We'll have our buffer for receive data and we will have the packet infrastructure, which will be the structure filled once we will receive the CCSDS packet from the server. So we will be able to parse it, see how long is the payload and then print out the payload. Then we will initialize push open framework. We will open the socket and then we will wait in the endless loop. We will wait for the CCSDS packet to come from the server. And once it will be received, we will just print out its payload. So here is the endless loop. And as I said, we will wait for the data coming from the server using PO accept. We will insert them byte by byte into the push open stack. Then we will trigger the, the PS layer, the CCSDS space packet layer to look down into the FES layer, whether there are new packets or new bytes received. And then we will ask the CCSDS layer, the PS layer, whether there is a full CCSDS packet received in the byte stream. So it will, it will look into the byte stream, it will try to recognize the full packet. If it is there, it will try to unwrap it. It will fill the space, uh, the packet infrastructure here for us. And based on that, we will be able to print out the payload of the packet and we will call for stopping the main loop and we will end up the client application. So let me finish the main function. Okay, so again, let's recap the receiving side. We'll have initialization of the push open framework. We are opening the socket and then in the endless loop, we are waiting for the data from the server. We are triggering the PS, the, the CCSDS space packet layer to look down into the FES. Do you have any new bytes for us, any new data for us? And then we are asking uh, in the loop, we are asking the, the PS layer whether there is a uh, space packet in the received byte stream. If there is one and it will return PO success, then we can print out the payload of that packet. Okay, so let's now build both applications. Yeah. So our build script first called the PO config to translate the XML configuration of the client and the server into the C code. And then we build both applications, the client and the server. Okay, so let's call the server application first. Okay, now the server is waiting until the client will connect and start to receive the data. So we'll call client on the other side on the local port. And here we see, so this, the client connected to the server, the server sent one CCSDS packet with our custom payload of four bytes. And then the client received that packet and we have printed out the, uh, the payload of the packet. So let's now modify slightly the example and we will send two packets, okay? So what we'll do is We will add another data here. We'll call it the data two and we will send the values eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay. And then we will say that the payload will be data two and we again will call the request frame and send and then the client side we will modify slightly so we will not call the stop condition but we will let it run and it will continuously receive the data and once we have the packets received it will print out 
the bracket. Okay, the only thing that we will do after each bracket, we will jump to new line. Okay, so let's build both applications again. That went okay, so we will call server and then we will call the client application again. And you can see we have received two CCSDS packets from the server. So the first packet with the custom payload 1234 and then 8, 9, 10 and 11 hex. So this was the example of sending CCSDS packets in the PUS Open framework. We want to keep it simple for you. You've seen it, it's about 10 lines of code on the sending side and 10 lines of code on the receiving side. It's simple, but it's proven. PUS Open has a space heritage. It worked for different missions and the teams have used PUS Open in space as well as a tool for prototyping and testing their software on the ground. We provide a training for your team and tell you how exactly we comply to the space software and space communication standards. Thank you for watching. Visit us at pusopen.com and do not hesitate to email us for a quick chat. Have a great day.